Welcome to the Cult Classic Kitchen! We are here with our very special guest, Katie Romansky of the Minnesota Ice Cream! Ice Cream Food yeah, Talk! Katie! Katie! Thank you for joining us on this incredibly special occasion, Katie. Of course. Tell us. How long have you been creating ice cream treats for the Minneapolis area? Almost two years. Almost two, two years. Wow, so two years of ice cream! Or should I say ice cream? I think that you should not. That's fair. I want to scream a lot, but I don't. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Seems this like we want just to. got real. No. no. Um, so, Katie, in a world of taco trucks and spaghetti burls. What was it that made you decide I will ice cream? Because I always want to eat ice cream. Always? Always? Always. What's your favorite flavor? I love Blue Moon. Blue Moon? Blue, like? Blue Moon with cookie dough. Blue Moon with cookie dough? You want to know my favorite rip? Yes, Sven. What is your favorite? I'm sure this is going to be enlightening. It's rum raisin. Get it? Oh, yes, I because it. he's a desperate alcoholic. <laughs> oh, oh, rum. I couldn't understand yes. what he said. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, a lot of people have that problem. You have to be saddled with him for an eternity before you can understand what's coming out of his disgusting marble you, mouth. You know, I'm right here. Um, so, oh. so, Katie, yes? uh, how many varieties of ice cream do you have? Oh, varieties. I didn't, I almost think of that. Um, oh. Well, we usually just do chocolate and vanilla, but today we're doing zombie ice cream. Zombie oh. ice cream! Zombie ice cream. The oh. ice cream it's of the be... dead! It's going to be scary. What? Uh, so, oh. uh, where can we find you throughout the year? Roaming around on the streets or at black parties or music festivals, but you can just look at my Instagram and you can find me. During our incredibly professional interview prep, you mentioned that you were dis that yesterday you served over seven hundred ice cream treats to children of children. anything. Children, it was narrow. really fun. It doesn't I, sound like you had a lot of fun. I feel I like she's fun. putting on a big face for the camera. There's noise. There's no face. So what do you, so a Minnesota and ice cream is like cold on cold, right? So what do you do during um, the winter time? I sleep. Oh, <laughs> just like me, I sleep like 19 hours a day, but that's because I have clinical depression. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't have that. Oh, no. I don't want that. <laughs> I'm just tired well, of serving ice cream, all those kids. I'll keep Here doing it though, I'll Sven. do it all the Sven, I tell you every time, do not Make our guests feel bad about your mental illness? Oh, God, I just need to open up to someone I do. <laughs> I have... You need ice cream. Oh, do you have any here for us today? I that sounds like a wonderful segue into the next part of this segment. Oh, we've asked Katie of the Minnesota Nice Cream Ice Cream Food Truck to prepare for us an incredibly spooky treat available to you, our cult, classic cult files, and other things that we call you. Yay! He just made a sound. Hello. Are you here for ice cream? I am here for ice cream. Let's find out how to make the ice cream. Come inside. So, tell us, Katie, how do you make the ice cream? I don't. The machine does. <laughs> it's magic. We put it. I put it in the Stolting ice cream machine, and it freezes in cylinders in this. Titanium machine. You've mentioned that you've been operating this food truck for nearly two solar cycles. When did you get it? Do you have problems with it? And is it legal to drive it on the highway? I'm not sure if it's legal to drive it. Oh. Yes, it is. Um, or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, it breaks down a lot. But oh. I know, I know. But it's it's cute and adorable. And we got to keep it going. 
Absolutely. It's the nicest ice cream truck I've ever crouched inside of! We noticed that you had some very lovely visual art adorning the side of this vehicular ice cream conveyance. Who created your graphic designs? Uh, Chris Sexton Graphic Designs. Chris Sexton Graphic Designs, you just got plugged on Cult Classic! Ooh, he'll like that. <laughs> Most people do. I'm very important. Tell us, what does the typical day look like for the operator of the Minnesota Ice Cream Ice Cream Food Truck? I drive around the streets of Minneapolis and I, I find all the kids. Oh, no. <laughs> that sounded bad, too. Do you... I'm not making this bad, just so you know. She's the one being creepy about kids. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. We're having fun. The kids uh, find me. <laughs> that oh, that no, it's almost not, because that's how they find them on Dateline. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> I'm so Do you like working with children, Katie? Everyone likes children. Everyone does like children. It's a fact, right? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh the so gods good. that protect children are out in force today. <laughs> now, oh show us this ice cream being poured. Yeah, you're gonna do one. It's here. my favorite. <laughs> Zombie. <laughs> yes. Devil. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at it pour. <laughs> Special skills, for sure. Zombie ice cream. Now, let us take this delicious iced cream into the studio, where we will top it appropriately with Tara! Welcome back to the Cult Classic Kitchen, where Katie Romanski of the Minnesota Ice Cream Ice Cream Food Truck is going to show us how to eat this delicious ice cream we just saw her make with our very eyes. It looks so good. Not those eyes? Oh, not <laughs> these eyes. No. Oh. We've asked Katie to make a spooky treat for us and our cult classic followers out there. Now, Katie, spook us out. Do you want me to make it now? Go for it, okay. yes. Okay. All right, we're going to do a little bit of Oreos. Oh, Everyone right. loves Oreos, right? Is there Oreo. anything spooky about the Oreos? Were they... Um. Did, wait, were they sold to you by a man who had experienced a serious loss in his life? I think they were, yes. Uh, yeah. Spooky! Yeah, he, looked, he, looked really, he looked weird, yeah. <laughs> Go uh, We're not being judgmental. No, no, I mean... We're just calling it how we see it. <laughs> oh, no! I don't know anything about his personal life. Oh, right. and you have these eyeballs. Have eyeballs. What? Where eyeballs. did you get these eyeballs? What I, vintage? I was at a, a children's festival yesterday, and I came across them. Wait, oh. did you take them from the children? They're they're really spooky and really fun. Um, and then we're gonna put uh, a few hockey sticks in here because everyone seems to be putting them in ice cream these days. Yeah, people love them. Oh my god, that looks kind of cool. Oh, the gonna, horror! We're gonna put some scary, scary cotton candies on there. Oh, cotton candy and whisked then, by a woman who had given up. Oh my god. Yeah, it, it was a witch for sure. And then we're going to put on this cherry sugar coat. Oh my god, it, it turned solid. No, oh. no. We're not going to put on... Oh yes. The horror! Cherry sugar coat. Uh, what? Exactly. So, uh, what's your favorite way to enjoy ice cream while watching a scary movie? I don't. I am. I don't like scary movies. Well, what are you doing here? Then? What is this magic that you're doing now? Unicorn tails. Oh. Yeah, what, what, what was that? Is that edible Oops. glitter? Oh my God. Ew. Edible glitter. Do you have to juice a unicorn for that? Yep, that's what it is. Yeah. I forgot oh, to give you your ice cream. Word. It's right, it's right in front of you. Can you see it? Oh, and no, I don't know if that's going yum, to mix yum, well yum, with the yum. vat of booze you drank earlier. Listen, all I do is drink and eat ice cream now because Katie's my ice cream person forever! Yes, thank you so much to Katie Romanski and yeah. the Minnesota Ice Cream Ice Cream Truck! Oh, we have so much fun. Um, thank you, Katie. 
No problem. Oh, it's really good. Excellent. Oh my God.